guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a, another cooking recipe type video for you guys. This is one of my new favorite things to make. Um, I've been obsessed with, you know, the whole Betty Crocker's like pie crust mix for some reason. Um, I guess because I made that tuna quiche before, I wanted to try making something else. So I tried making a chicken pot pie because um, normally I like to get those like little frozen mini like chicken pot pies that you can get at the grocery store and they normally sell them for like a dollar or something um, but this actually you save more money just making your own um, you know big chicken pot pie and it tastes better just like oh my gosh it's my new favorite thing to make so I hope you guys try it out it's a really basic recipe um, there's not like that many ingredients at all and even the leftovers are really good too so um, this is something that you can have you know the next day or the day after and it'll still taste really good so I think you guys will really like it so let's just get right into it you will need three chicken thighs, three stalks of celery, a bag of frozen peas and carrots, a half cup of milk or half and half, uh, one can of cream of chicken soup, and for this I'm going to be using Betty Crocker's pie crust mix, and you'll need two tablespoons of black pepper. So you're going to want to begin by bringing your chicken to a boil over a medium high heat and then you're going to want to cover that so it can come to a boil and once it start bo starts boiling you can um, bring the heat down to a simmer and let that simmer for 30 to 40 minutes and then we're going to want to make our dough so just follow the instructions on the box and after you're done making your dough you're going to want to wrap each half in um, plastic wrap. So you're going to want to wrap the bottom dough um, in one half. And then the top dough, you're going to want to wrap in plastic as well um, for your top crust. So you have your bottom and your top crust. And then you're going to want to preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And then once your chicken's done, you're going to want to start chopping it up, like so. A lot of people like to use chicken breasts, but I think that it's too dry for this. Like, as you can see, it's really dry looking. I personally like to use chicken thigh because it's more tender and it just slides right off the bone. Um, and I also prefer using a boneless chicken, so it's less work. So then you have all your chicken in your bowl, like so. And then you're going to want to wash off your can of soup and get that in the bowl. And then you're going to want to add your half and half. And then add your celery. and then add your peas and carrots. And then add your pepper. And mix very well together. So now it's time to make your bottom half of your dough, so your bottom crust. Um, and here I am flattening it out with a roller, but um, I didn't add any flour down, so you can see it's sticking on to my roller so I suggest you add flour um, down first um, and then it'll work better so then I just flattened it out a little bit and then even it out to the edges like so and then add your mixture to the pan like so and then start flattening it out real good and if you have any leftover mixture you can just uh, make it as chicken soup later you can just heat it up in the microwave and 
And that's what that looks like. Okay, so now I'll show you how to roll it out correctly. So you're gonna just wanna take some flour um, and just kind of like smother it down, you know, even it out and start putting some of it on your roller too um, so the dough won't stick to your roller. And then you're gonna wanna um, put your dough down, flatten it out a little bit and then carefully start to roll it out. And you're just gonna wanna roll it out to like an even like circle or whatever. Just get it as flat as possible and then you're gonna wanna put it on top of your pie. And then you're gonna wanna start um, ripping off like the extra um, dough that's just kinda hanging over the sides because you don't really need all that excess dough. And you can actually use the dough to start like fixing up the edges a little bit better. Just like that. And then you're gonna wanna start pressing down with your fork and then make some slits down the center. So it looks like that. And then you're gonna wanna pop that in the oven for 30 minutes or until it's done. like until it looks like golden brown and then it'll be done just like that And I noticed that's better to scoop it out with a spoon um, since it's kind of soupy. It's just better to overall scoop it out with a spoon, not a spatula. <laughs> and you're done. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you try it out and let me know what you guys think. So I hope you guys enjoyed that recipe video. Definitely leave this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and follow me on my Instagram which is at underscore underscore Jasmine Kim. Um, check out my shop which is down below in the description box and yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.